A very good morning to you. Thank you so much for being part of this morning conversation today. Happy New Year. My name is Ram Maguko. This is Power Talk. And it's a pleasure being with you at the beginning of this year. We are coming to you live from the broadcasting house here in Nairobi, Kenya. We are also live streaming on our website. There's a www.kbc.co.ke forward slash y254. This is the best place to be each and every Thursday. Remember, repeat of this show as again tonight at 10 p.m. And uh, as always, it is a pleasure being with you. We hope that you've started your year on a good note. We hope that you're well together with your family. There is a lot of hustle and bustle, you know, around the city trying to get uh, to make ends meet. You know, school fees is there children need to be taken to school how is your year and this morning we want to talk about how you should plan for the year today let's talk about creating a successful new year plan and to help us in this particular conversation i am with edwin tiago to my extreme right uh, he is a motivational speaker pastor and a mentor karibisa edwin thank you Niko salama. Niko salama. and uh, you've seen her You've been with her, of course, you've, you, 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 you've seen him too. But I'm also with Ruth Mudoni. She is a senior property advisor and also a youth leader. Karim Sana Ruth. Thank you so much. Kosalama. Kosalama Kabisa. It's a pleasure being with you both. Uh, happy New Year to happy, both of you. Happy, happy New Year. year. <laughs> Kosalama Sana. Kosalama Kabisa. So engage with us. Let us know where you're watching us from, uh, especially in this particular conversation. How is your year? And what are the tips that you, can, uh, that you have uh, for yourself? What are the plans that you have for yourself? What are the resolutions that you have for yourself for this particular year? Yeah. Remember, it's all, it's all about creating a successful New Year plan. How do you do it? Especially when it comes to relationships, by the way. Hey, <laughs> how do you create a plan for your relationships? There are some who have planned this year to get married. Some have planned this year to get financially stable. Some have planned this year to be able to ac accomplish one or two things in academics. How can you create a successful New Year plan. The hashtag is Power Talk Show on Twitter at Ram Maguko and that Y254 channel is where you can be able to engage with us. Let's keep the conversation going as a sample. Your, I shall sample your feedback towards the end of this particular morning conversation. All right, this is Power Talk and Power Talk starts now. Let me start with you, Edwin. Yes. How do you create a successful New Year plan and how have you done it even as an individual? Uh, at an individual level, it's important to know that at the beginning of the year is what we refer to as a strategic point mm -hmm. because you have refreshed, you feel everything is new and therefore you need to begin afresh. Yeah. Probably there are things you failed in in the past years or in the past time, then you feel it's time to make things to be straight. So the first thing to tell yourself is that your expectations must match your efforts. Do not expect too much mm -hmm. while your mm -hmm. efforts are less. I love that. Yeah. Your expectations must match your efforts. Yes. So if you are not willing to put an effort to it, don't expect anything. Yes. <laughs> Many people are expecting much, but they're not putting effort okay. into okay. whatever they're expecting. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So that is number one. Mm -hmm. Ensure that you have positioned yourself in a place, you have a vista to know where you want to go. Mm -hmm. You set your vision for the entire year. Mm -hmm. you, uh, you, you plan and you tell yourself, this is what I want to achieve in the long term and in the short term. Mm -hmm. So ensure that you have your long term plan and your short term plan. plan. So I believe mm -hmm. that is a good point to start okay, with. Okay, okay. Ensure that you have a long term plan mm -hmm. and then a short term plan mm -hmm. and your expectations should match your efforts. Ruth, yes. how can someone plan a successful plan for a year and how have you done it even as an individual? Um, personally, this year mm. I have planned to take my life as uh, take my life as a business. Whatever I do, I do it like a business. Okay. What do you mean? What as do a, I mean? Uh, <laughs> as, as a business. Yes. Meaning uh, investments. In, uh, not necessarily investments, uh, but whatever I do, I okay. make it. Do, do you know how a CEO takes seriousness in the business? Uh -huh. The same way I have taken my life so serious. And I've taken seven steps for this year. Seven? Seven steps. Okay. One, uh -huh. you, I, you need to have a mission and a vision for this year. You have to have a strategic plan. You need to use the SMART goals. S for strategic, mm. M for measurable, 
mm -hmm. A for attainable, mm -hmm. uh, R for re relevant, mm -hmm. S is R, T. Uh, yes, R, T, yes. <laughs> R, T. T is for time bound. Everything has to have time bound. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I'll do this at this time mm -hmm. and it will take this time. Okay. So you, had, you have seven steps. Seven steps, yes. The first one is? You need to know, first of all, you need to know where financially you stand so that you can take a step. Uh -huh. Then the second one, you need to have a mission and a vision. Uh -huh. Third, you have to have a strategic plan. Uh -huh. You have to have a measurable plan as well. You have, a, you have to have an accountable body as well. Somebody who you ask, who needs to put you on your toes. Uh -huh. That is six. Seven? Do those, are, those are seven. Those are six. Yes. Uh -huh. Doable and attainable goals. That is seven. Don't just put things there. If you have so many things to attain this year, uh, just make sure you put them into, categorize them. Mm. First of all, take three. Attain the first three so that you can focus on the three. Then after okay. that, go to the next. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, I want us to, 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 to start with uh, financial stability. Mm -hmm. This has been an issue for so many people, mm -hmm. considering the fact that we have come from uh, a period where COVID struck and many are still recovering. There are some who are hit hard and uh, have not managed to come up to get on, uh, or, on both feet. Mm -hmm. But there are many who are looking into financial stability this particular year. Mm -hmm. How can someone attain financial stability? Let me start with you, Ruth, and then I'll come to you. Yes. Um, um, I remember the, the, the last time that you were here, we talked about uh, you can borrow from the next year. Maybe there are people who borrowed from this month, yeah, by from the way, last year. We had this conversation here last <laughs> we, Actually, we had this conversation on how to prepare for the festive season yes, with you. Yes, we did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, it's interesting because you're just coming and now after the season, yes. to talk about now that the season is over, mm -hmm. what do we do? <laughs> what do we move? How, how do we move? move? Oh, interesting. <laughs> so, so, so how do you, so you, you need to borrow from, from the previous year? If there is somebody who borrowed from December, hmm. remember if they borrowed from January, yeah. so that they can maybe attain some things in December. Now in January, they have to stick to the plan. You mm. can't keep borrowing from the next month. You just yeah, can't. Yeah, yeah. So you have to stick to the plan. You have to stick with, to, with whatever is left. So if you borrowed in December? If you borrowed January's salary on December, uh -huh, in December, uh -huh, uh -huh. now stick to whatever has been left. Don't borrow now again from February. So ngangana na iyo. Ngangana na iyo. You agree with that, uh, Chego? Yes, what, is, what she's saying uh. is you ensure that you're living within your, your means. means. What if your means is too high? That, uh, it's, it's <laughs> higher than uh, your <laughs> then that is the money you have. That is where you need to regulate. Uh. Yeah, one of the one of the lessons that was uh, greatly learned from COVID nineteen is that uh, we need to have multiple sources of income, which many people do not have. Yeah, yeah, many people have only one source of income, yet you can have uh, multiple sources of income whereby your cash flow is well established. Mm. What many young people lack, what many people lack is a cash flow. Whereby you are spending, yet you're not, you're not earning. Mm. And the first step is to earn before you spend. You cannot spend mm -hmm. what you do mm -hmm. not have. Mm -hmm. So when you have established a good cash flow, then be sure that you will be stable financially. Mm -hmm. This means uh, any idea that can bring you something, any idea that can put a coin in your pocket yeah. is something that you need to embrace. Yeah. For instance, there is a lot that is happening online at this particular moment. You can make m a lot of money online. Uh, uh -huh. There is content creation. Uh -huh. There is uh, writing. There are a lot of people who are writing for online and they are making a lot of money. So in, uh, you, you do not need to have hard cash as in, in itself uh -huh. for you to make money. Uh -huh. The richest person who lives on the face of the earth is not the one who has liquid cash, but the one who has an idea. For wow. you to wow. ensure wow. that you're turning your idea into liquid cash, mm. I believe that way you can make yourself to be financially. But is it many people do not have a second source of income. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We, we, most people have one source of income. Mm -hmm. And what you're saying, from what I'm getting from, from this conversation, it is difficult to have uh, financial stability through one source of income. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah. 
Is that, is, that's the point. Yeah, you agree that's with that? Yeah, true. Yes. Uh, now, wh when it comes to um, these debts that we have, you, you took a loan for uh, the holidays, uh, but now you need to pay them back. You borrowed a bank, you borrowed an individual, and some of these people we borrow from, uh, what, are they, what are they called? These, the, when you, Shylocks. Uh, yes. Shylocks. <laughs> <laughs> Shylocks. Yeah. And uh, mobile money <laughs> yeah, yeah. has become a, a, a bond for many <laughs> people. <laughs> Shylock, <I'm> a, <laughs> very dangerous. Uh -huh. Now you're stuck, and January, as you all know, has a, a, a thousand days. Mm -hmm. How do you c c come out of that? <laughs> um, one, Ram, it is important to know what you're borrowing for. Uh. One, you say that you borrowed for the festive season. Mm. But what is it that you are borrowing for? Uh. Many a times we borrow to spend money on clothes, to spend money on a new uh, piece of furniture, mm. probably TV, something that cannot add value to your life. But you see, when you borrow, uh. Uh, you need to borrow for an investment. Yes. For that money, it's like a seed you're planting. You're putting it in an investment. Mm. That way, it will increase and it will give you a life that you desire later on. Don't mm. borrow to go to KFC. No, no, see how squeezy via Zihakuna. Zimeisha. Zimeisha. When you borrow, borrow to put into an investment. Yes. <laughs> yeah. but, 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 but you see, this is the thing. When you're borrowing for uh, the holidays, mm -hmm. um, this lady is uh, putting you on the spot. Mm -hmm. Babe, you don't love me so much. Mm -hmm. Everyone is going out. Mm -hmm. It's uh, the December holidays. It's Christmas. Mm -hmm. It's New Year. You've not taken me out the whole year. Mm -hmm. At least at a maramboja for mwaka. Asa kama manaume, that that aibu. I need. I think there there needs to be an understanding of both of you. Mm -hmm. If I don't have, I don't have. But mm. I can tell you, baby, I'll take you. Maybe at this time, I'll push myself, get these finances, and take you for a holiday. Then but it, but it, but there has to be an understanding. But now you're stuck. There is somebody who was borrowed for, for December, yes. and now they're stuck. They don't know how they'll recover, mm -hmm. and they're looking into financial stability. Are they doomed? They're not doomed. <laughs> they're not doomed. <laughs> Let it be a lesson. <laughs> Let it be a lesson. Mm. Let it not be a condemnation. Let it be a lesson for you uh -huh. that there is a better way I can move on correct and there is a better thing that i can be able to do mm -hmm. so that if you borrowed for december mm. yeah when it when because there is another december which is coming right what yeah. is the best thing for you to do it is for you to plan now there are a lot of saving plans which have been given to people which they do not adhere to most of the times mm -hmm. so that is why you find yourself in the same situation over and over again mm -hmm. But you can begin on the right foot this year and say, if at all there is a holiday which is coming, let me plan for that particular holiday. So do not do something which you did not plan. You've given an example where probably you need to take your spouse or your girlfriend out and you do not have money. Why don't you look for an option which can favor your situation at that particular moment mm. that you're not going overboard and then at the end of the day you'll be crying. Mm. If you have somebody, they need to add value to your life. So come mm. on they need to understand at that particular yeah. moment. Yeah. It is for the better. Mm. It is for the better. It is for us to be able... Let us not eat our future mm. today. Yeah. Mm. Somebody mm. said mm. somewhere, don't wear uh, your, your tomorrow's clothes today. Mm. Tomorrow you will walk naked. You will not have anything to wear. Uh. Yeah. I, I, wish, I, I wish I had a believer. <laughs> <laughs> you have seen it. You have seen it, man. Don't, don't wear your tomorrow's clothes uh, today. 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 Otherwise, you won't make it tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> and also, Ram, I uh, think people need to have an income statement and a balance sheet. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, uh -huh. Income statement. Income statement is uh, your your what you, the income that you get minus mm. the expenses, mm -hmm. and the balance sheet is your liabilities and your assets. I remember doing a balance sheet when I was in high school. <laughs> That's the last time I did a balance sheet. Uh -huh. So it is applicable in the world of today. It is very applicable, uh -huh. and that is the only way you can track. Let me tell you, I think we are very rich. It's just that we oh, don't know how to use it. Okay, the money. I, 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 I'm hearing some believers complaining. <laughs> they are saying they don't understand what you mean when you say balance sheet. <laughs> uh, to, let's define what a balance sheet is. Mm. Uh, and of course, uh, uh, so, uh, 
Imwaka lazima tuomoke. Timo amesema imwaka lazima tuomoke. So how, what is the balance sheet and uh, how do you do do that? Of course in my head I I can remember I we have two sides. In my <laughs> head. <laughs> we have we have the 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 assets side and the liabilities. And the liability mm. side. Yeah, now proceed. Um so for the balance sheet mm. <laughs> it's in the computer. So there's this side where you'll put your assets. Uh -huh. Assets is anything that brings in money. Okay. And liabilities is anything that takes off the money. Takes like, out money. Uh, takes mm -hmm. out money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so you take out the, the assets and the liabilities, you subtract. Uh -huh. And just check. Let's say, for example, this month there's rent. You got your income. Mm. But that now is an income statement. Because now the income, the income statement is whatever you got at the end of the month. Then now... Your expenses are the rents, fuel, uh, clothes, shoes. Mm. Those are the expenses. Mm. And then now, I'm a little bit of balance sheet. I think I'm a little bit of balance sheet. As I unafo ujue, that pesa mbao yuna ingia na pesa mbao yuna toka. Yuna toka. Do they balance? Or, or, or are the liabilities more than the assets? Yes, now that's where the liabilities come to be more than the assets. And they should not be? Yes. Yes. In simple terms... It's a track record of your spending, mm. Mm. yeah? Mm. The money which comes in mm. and the money which goes out. And the truth of the matter is many people spend, but they do not have a track yeah. of how they spend. That, that is the tragedy is, of mm. most of the people. Is it that why we need bank statements and yes. and and and, and statements? But do people even take time to check their bank statements and m -Pesa statements, right? Many, when did last, <laughs> when last did you check? I always check. <laughs> Many people, there is a time I updated the status and I said, uh, you are very rich. It is only that you do not know. Yeah, it's true. Because many people do not check their M-Pesa statements. I checked mine and I realized that I'm very You're rich. a millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of money that I spent last year, the <laughs> And what are you doing about it this year? That is a question. Yes. Mm -hmm. What are we doing about it? Mm. Kenyans need to rise up mm -hmm. and uh, do something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I always check my email. They, they always send it to, to my email. Mm -hmm. uh, after every month, yeah, every month they do so. And they're very consistent. I like, I, I like that. Mm -hmm. but so every, everyone needs to go home, mm -hmm. check how much money you've spent mm -hmm. and how much money uh, uh, comes in mm -hmm. and then see how you can balance And the what but did you spend on? Yes. That is very Whether it was necessary or not. Yes. Mm. What did you spend on? Mm. Okay. Yes. Because we've said, if at all we need to be financially stable, mm. your, your spending behavior should be on a spot check each and every moment. Yeah. Uh -huh. Then what am I spending on? I'm on Aribu Pesa. You think to Mamoka. <laughs> and there's an app in for M-Pesa. Yes. It tracks everything. Your yeah, yeah. the money that goes mm. in, uh, the, the money that comes in, the, and the money that goes out. Yeah, there is. And there. also there are people who mm. write learn ilinunua chingam at this. Let's let's talk about smokers first. Do you, do you count those small small things? I think it's that very. You it's mm. very mm. ideal to. Mm -hmm. ukana smoky mm -hmm. for, for for those who like mutura ukanua mutura. You My bought a, 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 a kaboilo. Yeah. <laughs> kaboilo. <laughs> do, you, do you also keep track of that? This year I am keeping track of that. Okay. You're saying about smoking? What about smoking? Um, it's like, um, I remember there's a time Terence said he used a lot of money when he used to smoke. Because smoking is a habit. And the, you have to use that money every single minute when you have the urge of smoking. Mm -hmm. And those little, little money where the, the small, small money. Mm -hmm. Trust you me, Ram, that is a lot of money, mm -hmm. if you agree with me. That is true. That is a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So if you track the small, small things that you do, the, mm -hmm. the small, small money that you spend, mm -hmm. you'll, you'll see you have a lot of money. When I see you in the barabara, you know, see, 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 buy five of them or ten of them, mm -hmm. and then you keep them in the car. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it is, it is, it is, it is, it is true. I realized, nika pige sabu, nika sama, eh. No. No, 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 this is a way it is so interesting because kuna kachumbari na ekwandani yapo katika. Nika pili pili. Nika pili pili. 
alafu lazima ongea i like it lazima iweke ndani vizuri you know afai kuchukua tukijiko atwange kwa ah no straight apange apange <laughs> Let's move on mm -hmm. because we're talking about uh, how to successfully plan for uh, the year 2021 uh, mm -hmm. creating a successful year, new year plan. Mm -hmm. We've talked about finances. Yes, that is on financial. Financial stability. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about relationships. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We need stability even in our relationships. Yes. Yes. Do relationships also need planning? Do oh. they <laughs> need to be planned for so that you say mm -hmm. that this year this is how i want to plan myself mm -hmm. at this time i want to 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 to, to get into a relationship or i should be out of a relationship at this time you know, mm -hmm. how do you plan it mm -hmm. and for those who are married mm -hmm. how should they plan their relationship so mm -hmm. that this year they have a solid foundation for their children mm -hmm. Tego. that is one key aspect of life life depends on relationships mm -hmm. and ram in life your relationships must not just be any relation it must be strategic mm. underline bold capital letters uh -huh. relationships must be strategic we need strategic relationships, relationships. Mm. not everybody that you meet on the road is mm. meant to be your friend mm. i like it coach robert burare mentioned that one and he said the other day mm. that there are people whom when you meet it should end at the parking lot mm. don't bring them to your sitting room mm. don't take them to your bedroom why they are not meant for those places wow. so as you're planning wow. for these year relationships mm -hmm. ensure the people you are meeting in life are only people who can add value to you yes wow yes uh -huh. yes i agree with him make sure any person that comes in your life adds value if and if he's draining you if he or she is draining your energy cut off that person it's not worth it i want to take a short break mm -hmm. and then we'll be, back, we'll be back on this particular issue here mm -hmm. how can you plan for your relationship you said mm -hmm. that relationships need to be strategic mm -hmm. what is this strategic relationship that we're talking <laughs> about here and and I'm, I'm also considering the fact that there is somebody who has been single for a long time mm -hmm. And they have no clue about how they are going to do it mm -hmm. next. I'm also concerned with the fact that there is somebody who is in a relationship and they feel they need to come out of it. Mm. How can they do that this year? Mm -hmm. So that they have come out so that they come out of toxic relationships. Mm -hmm. We need to talk about that. Mm -hmm. Toxic relationships. Mm -hmm. And is it possible mm -hmm. for somebody when you are sana nyumbani and I'm going to have that limwaka later mtu. <laughs> wow. Uh, can, I, can I comment on that before you go on the break? No, uh, Maybe I just leave it so that we can begin. Uh, with that. Okay, okay. Uh, you, you can you can comment. Okay. Relationship mm. is in three dimensions. Uh. It is social, it is spiritual and economic. Right. Social, <laughs> spiritual and, and economic. economic. Keep talking to us. That's like our <laughs> show on Twitter at @ramagogo at @y254 channel. It's all about creating a successful new year plan. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about this particular issue because you need to know about it. Engage with us at Ramagogo at Y254 channel. Let's take a short break. We'll be back in a bit. This is Power Talk. Y254. Imagine. And as always, we value your feedback. Thank you so much for being part of this morning conversation right here on Y254. This is power talk my name is ram maguko and if at all you're just joining us you're just in time for the next part of this conversation remember we are talking about creating a successful year a successful new year plan how can you do it let me just sample a few of your feedback on what people are saying on uh, on, our, on our social media handles remember the hashtag is power talk show at ram maguko at y254 channel you can head over to facebook on our facebook page that is at y254 like the page and drop a comment on our particular poster here uh, that you've posted interestingly I never knew until I saw this photo that we are all in blue. Oh. So <laughs> I've, I've just seen it. <laughs> so it's, we are all in blue, 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 blue skirt. I don't know, uh, skirt, blue dress, blue, <laughs> blue, blue yoke, <laughs> <laughs> and blue tie. <laughs> all right. Uh, uh, now let me s read a few of your comments there. Uh, Do Dogo Sam Oni. 
Uh, asante sana dogo Samu Racha Jose anasema pia ko tuned in asante sana uh, Sam uh, Oti eh, Oti Steng no Senge uh, anasema pia ako hapo kwenye mtandao Enoch Madegwa mm-hmm. anasema that is my mentor Pastor Edwin Tiego oh. alright asante, asante sana keep talking to us let us know also where you're watching us from and we shall be able to recognize and appreciate you now ladies and gentlemen uh, let's proceed with the next part of this conversation and we're talking about stability in our relationships mm-hmm. how can we attain stability and uh, you said that there are three three parts mm-hmm. uh, s- spiritual mm-hmm. Uh, social. social and economic, economic mm-hmm. parts of our relationship yes. and you you'll touch on that in a bit but let me start with you Ruth mm-hmm. um, many want to be stable in their relationships mm-hmm. but there is this baggage from the previous experiences that they've had in their previous relationships mm-hmm. how can they uh, gain stability regardless of their past um, Maybe for an ex- uh, for example, maybe you are in a toxic relationship, or there are things that you went through your past relationship that gives uh, that makes you feel as if you're not comfortable going to another relationship. So um, I think you need to give yourself time to heal, mm. and then after that, uh, after ge- and then time. <laughs> mm. Somebody who told me uh, mm. Mm. I need. Uh, a friend of mine needs to give themselves time to heal. Mm. And I don't think time is one year or two years, but it's accepting. You only heal when you accept. You, a but, wound... But, 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 but what do you mean by accepting? What do you mean? Um, how long does it take for you to accept? Because for some people, it takes time for them to accept that something actually happened. Remember, Ram, we, we talked about you cannot move until you know your, your mistakes. You can't move. So you have to accept whatever had already happened and you can't be blamed. If you don't accept it, you'll blame the other person that you meet because of somebody. Oh, what am I saying? <laughs> For whatever you went through, if you don't get to heal, you'll tend to put the emotions to the next person that you meet. So you, only, you first of all get to accept, you get to heal and start afresh. Just like the new year. We've started a new year. Uh-huh. It's a new year, new things. Uh-huh. Uh, in terms of toxic relationships, it is uh, what 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 do we mean by toxic? It all drips down to uh, the expect the different expectations that people had in relationships. There's a time you are here and we say that it is always to it is always good to know what you expect from a relationship or what you want in a relationship for it not to turn to be toxic. Mm. And from the past relationships, it is just good to be a good person, yeah? That you know that the, the, whoever you are in a relationship with, with is not a bad person. It is only that it could not work between you two. It mm. did not suit you two, but he's not a bad person. So don't demonize them. Don't see them as evil people. Be human enough also just to <coughs> accept that it did not work, but let me move forward to the next stage. I may find someone who suits me. I will find somebody better. Mm. That person did not deserve you and probably you did not deserve them. Therefore, it is just good for you to move on. <laughs> you know, there's one thing that I really need to understand. Is, yes. Um, when you say that um, you need to understand where you're heading to mm-hmm. for you to not have a toxic relationship, mm-hmm. you know, for some people, they find themselves in it. And actually, they need somebody else to let them know that you are actually in a toxic relationship. Mm-hmm. And for others, they've just realized by the way, this thing has actually turned toxic. And I didn't expect this in a person. Mm-hmm. Now, they need stability in their relationship. Mm-hmm. Should they break up? Mm-hmm. Should they get a divorce? Mm-hmm. Should they leave? Mm-hmm. How can you gain stability? Because it's a new year. We want new things. We want peace. Oh. Uh. I say the other time, it's good to have a checklist and it's good always to believe in yourself. The reason as to why somebody is in a relationship and they need someone else to tell them that the relationship you are in is toxic, it is because there are some who have not believed enough in themselves Mm. and they feel I need this person to make me to be complete, to make me to be who I am. Therefore, do an analysis by yourself. Before you get into anything, know what is it that you want in life. 
do you have the same goals? Are we going to the same destination? Now, speaking of same goals, same destination, mm. can a toxic partner hinder you from achieving your goals? Of course, yes. yes. Of course, yes. Yes. <laughs> but how? <laughs> how do you separate? Because this is your partner. Mm -hmm. You know, this is somebody that you, 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 you love or loves you. And that is why I said relationships are strategic. From the spiritual point of view, no relationship is an accident. Okay, Ram. Be, 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 before you go there, mm -hmm. <laughs> before you go there, mm -hmm. Ruth, relationships, toxicity, and your goals. Mm. You want to do something, can they prevent you from doing it? Mm -hmm. Yes, they can. In one way or another, maybe they do not want you to do that thing. How do you that, solve? Whatever. I feel as if, I don't know, past, but pastor, you can. <laughs> <laughs> what do you, you feel as if what? I feel as if if you're not comfortable, just leave. Your mental health is more important, and there's nothing as that gives you so much peace in your heart when you're at your mental peace, your, men, uh -huh. your mentality. Sorry, your mental peace is at peace. Uh, okay, okay, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I get you. Now, yes, you said that there are three parts, mm -hmm. and 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 uh, I, I remember we to look at Shanga is is only this mm. spiritual, economic, social mm -hmm. parts of a relationship. Mm -hmm. Let's demystify these three. Mm -hmm. Let's start with the which one? Spiritual. The spiritual aspect. Uh -huh. You're saying no relationship is an accident. No relationship is an accident. That women imagine part of a relationship. <laughs> 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 I just realized I'm dating. <laughs> the way we are made, yeah. nothing happens by coincidence. You do, there's nobody you meet by that it is an accident. They must have a role which they will play in your life. As you're moving on, you will get to know why is it that I met this person. You may not know it today, but uh -huh. as you are moving, uh -huh. it is a discovery that you'll get to make. Character so, development. Yes. You'll say, uh, I did not know that I met uh, Ram uh -huh. for this to happen. So it's something that you realize as you're moving on with the, with the journey. So as you're meeting people in life, know that no, you do not meet somebody by accident uh -huh. or by coincidence. It is somehow designed. So this character development, mm. it, it, it is designed. Eh? It is designed. Somebody planned to <laughs> develop you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Yes. Social. Yeah. As human beings, we are social beings. Yeah? Somehow, some, sometimes you'll want to be close to somebody. Mm -hmm. You'd want somebody to share with. You'd want somebody to pour out uh, your heart to. to uh, somebody to listen to you. Mm. In one way, so uh, life is it is social. Mm -hmm. Now we move it from the social aspect to the economic aspect. Many a times, w when you do research, people who begin business, whom do they begin to share the business with? They share the business with the people who are close to them. You will realize if at all you are doing a business, your clients are not people who are far off. They are people who are on your phone. So unless you do not understand that you need to begin with those ones, you will not know that life is economic. Mm -hmm. So, ukitembe na mtu, usitembe na mtu, unafanya biashara, you're selling something, and you've never sold it to those ones whom you're working close to. Mm -hmm. So just know that life, it is spiritual, it is social, and it is also economical. At one wow. point, mm -hmm. Ram, ukikosa pesa, whom do you run to first when you do not have money? You run to uh, somebody you know. Okay. You run to somebody you have a relationship mm. with. Before you call anybody else, first of all, probably you call your brother, your sister, because they are close to you. Uh, Ukijua okay. uyu ana, then you go to friends. Ukijua mm. wana, then you attend a bank. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, <laughs> now, now, now. There's, there's, there is, there's so many questions I have. <laughs> <laughs> what are mm -hmm. We are going to delete people's numbers. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, if you never talked to me in the previous year, this year, delete. If you are like this, this year, delete. If you are hazardous, this year, I'm deleting. People are deleting people's, uh, their friends' numbers on Asema. This year, we are cutting off. Mm -hmm. We are shutting off unnecessary links. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we don't need such kind of friends. Uh -huh. Now, it makes me wonder. We want to, we, because we are now moving on to social stability, mm -hmm. how we relate with our friends, yes. how can you create a plan so, for yourself uh, 
to, to successfully socialize with people mm -hmm. in a way that is good and healthy for you and for them. Mm -hmm. Because we keep on talking about you relating with people who can help you. Mm -hmm. That, oh no, uh, you, you need to relate with people who can be of benefit to you. But then at the end of the day, not everyone can be of benefit to you. Mm -hmm. There are some who are lower than you and those who are upper. Mm -hmm. How can you create this good social space for yourself. Mm -hmm. I'm still on you, Tiago, uh, and then I'll come to you. Yes. Uh, you've said there are people who are saying they are going to delete people, delete, delete, delete. Yeah. One, do a self-reflection. We attract whom we are. If you tend to help people more, you also be helped more. So don't just go on a deleting spree, yet you're the problem. You but, understand? But, but, but still on that, yes. there are people who help others. Mm -hmm. They help so much so mm -hmm. that they never ask for anything. Mm -hmm. But on the day they ask mm -hmm. for help, mm -hmm. nobody mm -hmm. can, help them. Can, can help them. If they're the ones who always give. Mm -hmm. If you need money, they give you money. Mm -hmm. If you need clothes, they give you clothes. Mm -hmm. If you need food, they give you food. But when they are in need, mm -hmm. nobody is there to help them. We can just call that unfortunate. But I believe <laughs> life is, no, the, the way life is, there is no way somebody can help you. Yeah. Anytime you help somebody, Ram, they yeah. will feel indebted. Yeah? Mm. They will feel indebted. Even if you did not have an intention of helping them so that they can help, the, they can help you. Because many a times I advise people, even when you're doing it, mm. do not do it so that somebody can do it for you. Mm. But life has a natural way of giving back. That if I give you a gift, you will feel indebted that next time, at least I also need to give this guy a gift. Mm. So I began from there that let it be a self-reflection that are you the one who is the problem? That you, uh, you do not have this uh, machismo to be able to attract as well because you attract what you, you are. Mm. So in doing so, you do an evaluation where, whereby you know whom do I need to help because you've said, kuna wale mbawa kochini, na kuna wale wako juu Ju. na kuna wale mko level moja na kuna wale mko level moja sasa wewe unataka tu kwa level na watu wenye wako juu sana na in this case ram <laughs> <laughs> wenye wako juu yako actually the, you need to know the kind of help you need from them because they are them who will give you material help yeah. they are them who will give you counsel kuna mtu hizi akakupea pesa yeah but they can give you an idea they can give you a counsel that will take you to your next level. That will make you to be the next big thing. delete <laughs> But I wanted to know what wanna delete mbona. I have never understood mbona unasema ati nita delete number ya huyu na huyu na huyu. Even if you delete, you still remember them. You still have their names, the the talks in your mind. So there's no. Uh, it doesn't make sense when you say I'll delete. And speaking personally on the, the ladies' side, mm. you'll find that we mostly delete numbers, uh, digits or numbers because how to just idea financially. Like in was channel on was channel on a delete numbers eh, Sana. Because a babu, and that's how I say. You, you call them and ask them who nani. Please <laughs> tell me. I have so many friends when you're <laughs> delete numbers mingi sana. Now we listen. When I'm not delete, I'm not saying. Oh, you attend a certain club, but when I need something, hata ni hata ni pay a pesa, hata ni fanya hivi. But yeah, yeah, kitaka. If they want my time, they want me to give them my time. Mm -hmm. But where we? If I want you to help me in any way, you won't. So that's why they're deleting. I'm, to, I'm speaking for the ladies. Which refers me mm -hmm. to what Diego said earlier on, that you give something, expect something in return. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you give them your time expecting something in return. What if you don't expect it's it? It's not that you, you, get, you don't get it. It's not that you're expecting. It's just the way he said. Mm -hmm. You feel accountable. Mm -hmm. You feel as if... Indebted. Yes, you feel mm -hmm. indebted. Mm -hmm. It's not that you have to. Why do ladies delete numbers? It is because they first of all did not understand why they saved it in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> because if you knew the reason, <laughs> if you knew the reason why you're saving them, then you cannot. Why are you becoming personal? <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, I don't know if there is anybody who can testify today. Um, I've been in church for so long. I don't know if there's anybody who can actually say that any mimi number yangu will delete you. I know, I know your <laughs> numbers been deleted. The reason why you, you, they are not seeing your status. <laughs> <laughs> it is because they deleted. 
<laughs> it was deleted. Uh -huh. huh? But it's good to, cuff, uh, to cut off people. It is good to cut off people. Is it if good? It is. To cut off people, friends, lovers, exes. It, it is. After I think it's very uh, deep consideration, I say you do an analysis. Mm. A careful analysis. Yeah. Don't just cut off. Eh? You do a careful analysis mm. on whom do I need to move on with yeah. this year. Mm. That one, it is true and it is very, very needful. Yeah. Ram. You need to ask yourself, whom do I need to move on this year? We, uh, to move on with this year. Mm. Once you have analyzed, these are the qualities of people that I want to work with this year. Mm. Then your life will also be quality. Let me ask you, let, let me ask the both of you. Mm. This year, there are people who need to really change their circle. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and I'm saying this with a very sober mind. Yes. I know there are people who need to change their circle this mm. year because it is their circle that has affected their previous year. Mm -hmm. It is because of their circle that maybe they did not achieve one or two things. And it is because if you change your circle, mm. you can be able to achieve something. Absolutely. Now, I want to ask both of you to give me your opinion. Who is a friend? What should we do? How can we define who a friend is? Because this is where the problem is. Mm -hmm. We don't know who a friend is. Mm -hmm. And because we don't know who a friend is, everyone is our friend. Mm -hmm. yeah. And there are those who don't have friends, and they say, I only have one friend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So who, what is a friend, by definition? Mm -hmm. A friend is somebody who is close to you, who understands you, and who has accepted you as you are. These are not people who will just shower you with praise. These are people who will also critique you when you go wrong. Because most of the times, we draw close to people who favor, who, who, whom we feel they favor us in one way or another. Mm. So you are in the wrong, and this person still favors you. Mm. You need somebody who can tell you to sober up when they feel that you have gone overboard. Mm. There are people who can calm you down when you beat yourself too much and tell you, no, this time around you've beat yourself too much. So, you know, the friendship is also in levels. Yeah? We have confidence, we have constituents, and we have comrades. So, I believe in this case, the ones you are asking about are, who is your confidant? Whom have you built confidence in that to this point they can tell you, this one you are wrong, this one you are right. You know, when you have a friend who is always a yes man or an, a yes lady, mm, mm. anything you say yes. yes. Any, no, that one is not a friend. That one is, he is escorting you to your faith. I don't like such people. Yes, man. Yes. So uh, a confidant is uh -huh. somebody you've built confidence in. Uh -huh. And they, you can tell them, you can... And they won't judge you. And you're, you're, they're not judging they you. They keep you accountable. And they will keep you accountable. But you see, even as you, 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 you do that mm -hmm. and uh, you, you share stories, mm. does it mean that that person who you share a lot is now your friend? I say just that, because we talk too that is much, a, that, that's why share. I was very careful to say the one you've built confidence in mm. because you don't just find confidence are not just found anywhere confidence are built mm. you build a confidence yes. yeah by the experiences you have had with this person that is how you build confidence in them and then you are sure that this one can be my confidence can be my friend in now me. still on you take go yes there are people who because of a particular experience mm -hmm you became close. Yes. Maybe something happened last year, mm -hmm. and now because this person was there to help you through that season, mm -hmm. you became close because mm -hmm. of them. Mm -hmm. For example, somebody's having a problem at work, mm -hmm. and now the, the, because of that issue at work, they mm -hmm. became close to a particular colleague. Mm -hmm. Maybe somebody has a problem, and uh, they call a particular friend, mm -hmm. and because of the, of the issue, we, uh, you know, in that particular scenario, mm -hmm. that person mm -hmm. became close to them. Mm -hmm. Does it mean that they are now friends? It, because now, after that particular season, mm -hmm. after that problem is over, story mm -hmm. kuna? <laughs> it is an element because there are factors which build up friendships. And one of the factors are situations. You understand? Uh -huh. There are situations. So when you find there is a situation that came up and that situation brought somebody into your life. Uh -huh. I believe there is a, a common video that is making rounds on social media when Jalango said, let situation, let circumstances 
introduce yeah. friends uh -huh. or introduce families to you. Uh -huh. So to me, it is an element and it is a factor to consider. Now, the only thing is that probably both of them did not know how to relate after that situation. Mm -hmm. But it is something that has introduced somebody mm -hmm. into your life. Your thoughts? What is a friend to you? And how can we distinguish between these different types of people in our lives so that we don't get mixed up and call everybody a my friend? friend. Mm. That is true. Um, I think a friend is anybody who has good intentions for your life, somebody who can tell you the truth and tell you as it is. Mm -hmm. That is a friend. Be it um, a good thing or a bad thing, that person will tell you as it is. Um, also, I think friends... For me, the people I, th I feel are safe, you need to cut off, are the people who remind you of, the, of your past. Ati, oh, pastor, nakumuka last year tulikuwa tunalala, tulikuwa atukuwa na pesa, tulikuwa tunakula smoky. Don't remind me of my past. Mm -hmm. we, are, we are, look. We are moving forward. We are moving Tuna forward. Tunasona mbele kama injili. Usinikumbushe, <laughs> usinikumbushe, <laughs> tunikuwa tunakula, wewe na nani. No, <laughs> we are moving forward. Eh? Moving forward. Yes, yeah, so Yene tell mbele. me, Ina, this, is, this and this is what we are doing. This mm. and this is what I want us to accomplish mm. by this time. Now, does that it, is now, a friend. Is a drinking partner a friend? <laughs> Mwenye ikifika time ya kukunywa yende umuko hapo. Na ye. Mtu mwenye unajua time kama ni kukunywa just call this person mm -hmm. you'll have a good time. Mm -hmm. I think there are categories of friends as pastor said. Kuna mm -hmm. wenye I, I'm pretty sure kuna mwenye uta, utapigia na unajua huyo ni kimuita tutaenda kukunywa. But after that there's nothing else. You know sikuza unasema it is in the bar that you find good real friends. No it is not. <laughs> you see uh, it, it's something, somebody used to give that particular testimony. Mm. And I said, no, I go to a place and I said, no, that is not what it is. Anyone who is helping you to destroy your life more, mm. that one cannot be a friend. You see, that one is somebody, you've built a comfort zone together. And they are the kind of people that, as she says, Mudoni is saying that they will get to a place and they will keep wanting to remind you of the past. Mm. You are now a king. You are in the mm. palace, but they are reminding you on how you are a pauper. Yeah. Come on. Mm. Failure is a bad place to begin, mm. but it is not a place to dwell. We cannot dwell there. And poverty mm. likes company. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Sorry, I, 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 you, you, you granted me. <laughs> I, I want us to talk about this, uh, yes. because this is uh, a very... Uh, serious issue mm -hmm. because they're talking about planning for the new year yes. mm -hmm. but there are people who need to stop some particular habits mm -hmm. how do we do that mm -hmm. you know stopping some habits mm -hmm. uh, 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 drinking mm -hmm. uh, partying mm -hmm. and uh, it is a new year mm -hmm. how do you stop all these particular things mm -hmm. to be focused because there are some people here this year my friend you need to be focused mm -hmm. how mm -hmm. habits they are good habits and they are bad habits. Uh -huh. So it means if you want to stop a habit, it is a bad habit. Yes. Yeah? Uh -huh. And uh, those who have studied psychology, uh, psychology, they'll say it has become probably an addiction mm. or something like that. They are, it is classified as a habit. Yes. One, you need to first of all highlight it as a bad habit. Highlight it as something which is not adding value to your life. Two, you accept that it is a problem or it is an issue to you. Because if you've not accepted this is an issue, then it is very, very difficult for you to stop. Three, look for somebody who will hold you accountable. Because a habit it has been built over time. Mm -hmm. A habit is not something that you, you, you've done today and then you say it's a habit. Okay. To, yeah. So you find somebody who will hold you accountable mm -hmm. on what you are doing for that uh, habit to fade away. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, this year, there are some ladies out there who need to stop partying mm -hmm. because they need to be serious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and we've seen these this things trend on social media, mm -hmm. where my, whereby some, there are some men who say that there are women who belong in the streets. Mm -hmm. And there are women who belong in their home. Mm -hmm. How do we change this particular habit for women? Um, since Pastor has already defined it well, yeah. the first question I, I think I'd love to ask them, when you open your window, I, I, I know I might sound a bit rude, but the moment that you open your window, what do you see? Uh -huh. Where you live. Uh -huh. 
where you oh sorry mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> where you live when uh -huh. you open your window what do you see mm -hmm. is it a comfortable place where you want to continue living is it somewhere kuna kanisa hapa mtoto ezilala ama family you're not even at peace kelele wizi nini what do you see when you open your window that needs to motivate you to change your habits so that you can now put more energy to where you're supposed to be Mm. Ramu, mm. what do you see? Do you that see? is not what you want to see. In is that where you want to, to stay for the rest of your life? Do you life? want to stay there? So you have to change your habits. You mm. have to make wise decisions so yeah. that you can get what you want. Wow. And, 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 and I'm looking at a particular scenario. I had this particular uh, example uh, last week. Mm -hmm. Between a zebra and a donkey, mm -hmm. which one is the best? Which one do you think you you'd go for. A donkey is hardworking and a zebra is beautiful. <laughs> it is. It is in... Uh, 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 don't answer quickly. <laughs> 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 a zebra yeah. it, Between it, a zebra mm -hmm. and a donkey, which one would you, would, you, would you... Should I, let me say, should I go for? Uh -huh. That one oh. requires critical thinking. Oh. A zebra is for beauty. Mm. And a donkey is for strength. Mm. So if you need, uh, uh, if you need beauty, then you'll go for the zebra. zebra. If you need strength, then you'll go for the donkey. Ruth, I would say the same. A donkey is, it really works hard. <laughs> if, if it was somebody, uh, a do donkeys. If you even look at the donkeys in the roads, one they they carry so many things, yeah. and I think. I'd prefer being a donkey than a zebra because zebra, you just sit pretty. You'd prefer being a donkey than a zebra. <laughs> 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 you, would you prefer being a donkey or a zebra? You don't know what to say. Huh? I, I would prefer being a zebra. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> why a zebra? Uh, now, uh, why, why a zebra? <laughs> A zebra, the value on the is on the look. But you can now, be pre, you can be beautiful mm -hmm. with nothing. You can you can be beautiful and not hardworking. You'd rather be hardworking than be beautiful. beautiful. You can be beautiful, and you also attract. You know, a zebra uh, has, has tourists to come to see it, <laughs> <laughs> and those tourists also have value. Come on. <laughs> 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 now, that is why I said one has beauty and the other one has strength. Now, the thing both is... Both can, can play, can, can, both can, can, be, can be valuable. This is, what I, I, this, this is what I read mm -hmm. uh, somewhere. Mm -hmm. And that's why I asked this particular question. Because yeah. this is how you need to, uh, what you need to consider as you plan for the, for the year. Mm -hmm. Between a zebra and a donkey. Mm -hmm. A zebra is more beautiful than a donkey. Yes. But a donkey is more hardworking than, than a zebra. zebra. Mm -hmm. But if you look at both of these particular animals, yes. one stays at home, mm -hmm. the other stays in the f bush. Mm -hmm. A zebra mm -hmm. stays in the bush, no matter how beautiful it is. <laughs> and a donkey stays in the home, no matter how <laughs> ugly it is, it stays in the home. This is how you pick a wife. Uh -huh. And th just think about uh -huh. it. And, uh -huh. and if you try to bring the zebra to your home, uh -huh. it will bring people, tourists to your home. <laughs> the tourists. The tourists will come to your home. <laughs> Do you need tourists in your home? Uh -huh. huh? That's why I said it depends on the <laughs> <laughs> And, I have been, and I've been caged today. <laughs> uh, and you've been? I've been caged today. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you made it in that one. <laughs> I, want us, I want us to bring this conversation to a close. Mm -hmm. It's all about creating a new year plan. Mm -hmm. And I want to give you final uh, you know, time to have a final word in regards to this. Mm -hmm. Talk to people who are watching you today within just 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. A final word on how to create a new year plan. Mm -hmm. This year, we need a change. This year we need something different. This year we don't want to start and end at the same same way. Mm -hmm. This year we need a difference. Mm -hmm. Diego. Which is my camera? No, uh, <laughs> that is your camera. Oh. Yeah. For this year I have had one message for everyone that is out there. That the greatest thing that you can do to yourself is that you add value. Ensure whatever you will do you will add value. 
Anything that derails you, anything that will make you not to amount to what you're supposed to become, leave it behind and just ensure that you are adding value. Ensure you are reading books, you are listening to inspirational messages. Ensure that you are scheduling yourself well. Don't be found everywhere at any given time. Don't be too available. When you are avail when you're too available, then it means that your value is also not adding up. Thank you so much. All right. Ruth, final word. Um, this year you need to, not, not only this year, from today, since you're already here, mm. change your mindset. At least learn even four, four words every day. Mm -hmm. This year, learn four words every day. <coughs> Read books, as Pastor has said. Mm -hmm. And uh, make sure you're going to the right direction. Let me talk about Mark uh, in the Bible, Mark chapter 4. There's a verse where the, the disciples went with Jesus to the sea. And they were so scared because the sea, um, they, were not, uh, they wanted Jesus to wake up. He was asleep. <laughs> so uh, he, they woke him up and told him, there's a storm. You need to calm the storm. And that's, uh, that's uh, I'm, I'm talking, mm. I'm, I'm saying that in consideration about God already knows what you want. God okay. is ready for whatever you want. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you need to push yourself mm -hmm. and uh, pray, believe, and trust in God. All right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you so much, uh, Ruth. Thank you so much, Tiago. Uh, uh, I want us to bring this conversation to a close. And I'd like, as always, to end with a quote. Bring it up, to, uh, Timo. I don't really do New Year's resolutions because I don't think you should have to wait until December to start working on how to change yourself. I think if you've got a problem, you need to fix it now. That is a quote by Clay Aiken. That is his belief. Mm -hmm. If you've got a problem, fix it now. Sure. Do you agree? Sure. Do you agree? Yes, I do. Ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the end of this morning's conversation on Power Talk. And, and as always, my own take home for the, uh, for the day, that what, what I believe should be there, mm -hmm. is that you need to stand out. Happy New Year. And I wish you the best this particular year, 2022. A big thanks to Tiago and Ruth for being a part of this morning's conversation. This is Power Talk. A repeat of this show airs again tonight at 10 p.m. My name is Ram Aguko. This is Power Talk. Happy New Year.